Okay, I decided to try this out. So I've put January, you can see right here, I've put January on the opposite side. You know what? I never took off the plastic film. Okay, let me take that off right now. Okay, there we go. That definitely brightens it up. Looks really cool. I like it a lot. Okay, so along the bottom, let me hold this up so you can see. Along the bottom is space for eight tabs. And I'm pretty sure it's like a really tight fit to get six tabs. And the other thing is, is I don't know if you can. Yeah, I think you can see it. Let me use this. The way that the spaces are on this clear uh, pencil board that has the markings the my tabs are like maybe 75 percent of that so i think i can use that to my advantage and be able to just place them on there and have this kind of help guide me but not necessarily have to be exact so let's see if i can get this done let's see if i can figure this out so i'm gonna put january i'm not really sure how to do this i haven't like watched a video on Facebook or anything or sorry on YouTube or anything but I think if I just place them next to each other then I should be able I feel like they're getting crooked I'm gonna do six and six just because I want to do them across the top and I don't think that that would be too uh, they'll, they'll all fit um I think they're meant to fit that way. They're meant to fit like six across. So let's all cross our fingers. Oh, I'm going to have to. It's not going to work. Okay, so I've set them all here. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's going to fit like really well. Okay, I'm super nervous. I think I'm going to put them on this page here so when I grab the tab it opens up to the actual um, like month and first day okay so actually I could have some more space okay maybe I'll try this let me try to give them a little bit more space. I suppose that's what the um, markings are for, right? How there's the eight, there's eight markings across the bottom right here. And so you can see, here's the three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those tabs are wider. So I can fit six in that space. But how far apart? My problem is... Okay, I don't know how easy, easily I can take them up. My problem is the spacing. And I do not want to have to, like, measure. I'm just kind of, you can see, I'm just kind of looking. Just kind of eyeballing where to go. That looks, how's that spacing? That looks pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is scoot this down a little bit. I'm going to grab this first tab if I can. Okay. And I'm going to put that here. So can you see where you can use this? I put the, I put that so that the Jan is all the way above so when we close this you can see the whole thing okay that looks so good look at that okay let me flip this over and flip this down i really like these tabs because they have that um it looks like a tab it's not just a straight square so it kind of gives you some guidance for folding it down oh no it's off okay no panicking. I didn't squish the sticker paper. Oh no. 
Okay, good. Okay, it sounded like I was panicking. I wasn't. It's fine. I do have a cold, so my voice is kind of messed up. Um, my son had a cold, and, you know, kids are all little germ balls. And there we go. And I caught his cold. He had to get a COVID test before going back to school. He's vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I did not think it was COVID at all, but he still had to get a um he still had to get a test. Look at how nice that looks. Okay, let's get in there and do all of these. So here's February. So I'm gonna flip it. Oh shoot, that's gonna cover up. Okay, let's see what it covers up. It's going to maybe it'll be like at the very top of the Monday. Okay, let's try it out. I also like this. I magically, I you saw me just now. Um, this is the pencil board is like tucked in. It's right into the um the, the edge of the book binding. And look how nicely that lines up across the top. So to be able to line it up, all I have to do is make sure that my pencil board is up against the center, and then I'm just kind of scooting it down to give myself some room and taking this off as long as I make sure I just go straight up. And I kind of want to do the same thing that I did with January in leaving the Feb above the line. So like if you can imagine just right there, looks pretty good. It so looks like it's a little bit down. I wonder if that's going to bother me. Let me see. Oh, I'm so nervous to pull. Oh, OK, it worked. Maybe right here. That might be an issue. Of trying to figure out okay that looks pretty good trying to figure out uh, exactly where those go and then turn it over press it down Ooh, that one looks even better than my January my January you can see just the tiniest sliver of the sticker mark that's fine all right that looks good Okay, so no skipped pages here. So we're going to open this. We're going to open to January. It's kind of a little bit tough because it's on the inside corner right there. And when we open it, we get to the January page um, with just the lines. And then, Feb um, sorry, the first is on the right side. When you do February's tab, February's page is on the same thing, the left side. And then you have the first. But when you get to March... Right here, March's page is going to be on the right side. And then we're going to have March 1st on this page. So where should I put this? I kind of want to put March on this page. So when I open it, it comes here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, again, putting the pencil board inside of the Hobonichi and lightly measuring kind of measuring let's close that and see how good I did pretty good I like it I'll leave it so let's flip it around this is like a little bit touchy not trying to make sure it's lined up but like I said I do like that these tabs have like they're rounded tabs so they um Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like it started to go down. Okay, we need a course correct with April. I like that these tabs are rounded so you can like bend them over easier. I struggled with a different tab. I don't remember which one it was. Um, and I did not like that. Okay, April, we have the same situation as March. So we're going to flip back a page. We're going to set this pencil board in. And go right above. I'm going to even go higher than I thought last time. Just because I think I need to correct that. Oh, it's a little bit closer. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit too close for me. Let me move it over just a little bit. Uh, that should do it right there. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot. I still need to fit... May and June. 
and not in a squished kind of way. Look how squished that makes it. Okay, let's move April back over. The problem with this kind of correction is you're really moving like, what, less than a millimeter? Look, and now it's like right back next to it again. I don't even know if you saw that I actually moved it. Okay, good enough. We are not about perfection. I do not believe in perfect. It's probably a holdover from attempting my work at not being controlling that I do not believe in perfection. Oh no, I bent the little bottom corner. A little bit of a course correction here. We kind of a little bit wobbly. We're not worried. It looks good. Okay, so here's April. Let's get to May. Okay, now I'm going to have to put May back here again. Well, not again, but let's see if I can just move this one straight up. And let's work. Oh my goodness, look at how off that is. What the heck is going on? I suppose I need more practice with this pencil board. And I probably should have tried to be more uniform with where I was laying everything down. That looks better, but it's still, hmm, it's still kind of down there. Let me try one more time. These are going to get all squished and like bent and whatever in my bag anyway, because like I mentioned in another video, I do plan on carrying this one around with me. This is going to be my daily journal um, and the my bullet journal right now, the tabs are squished and bent and all kinds of stuff. So let's get June on and then, okay, so June is on this side. And then I'm going to finish, I am at like the end of this cold. I feel so much better than I did just a couple days ago, but oh, I still, I need to get to bed. I need to rest. Okay. That is too big of a, look at that. April and May are just right next to each other. Okay. All my talk of like not being a perfectionist perfectionism does not exist perfect doesn't exist it still needs to look decent is that better yes at the same height look at march march looks crooked now okay let's get june and fold it down let's see how that looks look it looks so nice i love it can you see? Look how good that looks. We have a smidge of wonkiness here with April sitting a little high. March is a little short. May is a little crooked. No worries. Let's come back and do the rest of the months um, next. It'll just be a couple seconds for you, but I think it'll be tomorrow for me. I'm going to get some hot tea and... Go check out what's going on in the rest of my house. All right, I am back to finish up the rest of the tabs on the Hobonichi A6. Here is what I just did. This was yesterday for me, a few seconds ago for you. Yeah, look, it's kind of annoying that they are not all the way even. However, we're not going to let that bother us. Let's get the pencil board. Again, this is from Lauren Phelps Designs, and I'm going to use the bottom. I bet they're the same. Yeah, I'm going to use the bottom because of um, being able to put it right directly into the corner of the book. So I think that I went all the way over to three last time. Let's see about doing the same thing and just fitting them in. Whoops, I put August there. Okay. I need to uh, straighten this out. The other thing I was thinking about is if I want to add tabs along the side, my regular bullet journal that I've been using all year has both, although the tabs along the side are for the months and across the top are for various 
um, other sections of the bullet journal. Obviously, this is not a bullet journal, so I'm not going to have those same sections in here. So I suppose it's not necessary. That is way too much space. All right, how to figure this out. Okay, let me actually double check where this goes. So it actually goes farther into the three than I thought. Let's get all of those moved back over. It is pretty early for me to start setting up my Hobonichi for next year. In the past, I've set it up during like Christmas break when the kids are out of school and I'm in between. Well, this year I'll be in between semesters. Okay, that's a lot better. I wonder how that lines up for the other months. I suppose I could have done that. I could have lined up the other months. Mm, looks really close. I wonder if I should try. Let me put that here. Let's check if it will line up with them. It's a little bit off. I, hmm, I don't think I'm going to let that bother me. Okay, let's try this out and see what we can do. Let's get to July. You can see that the Hobonichi A6 has the numbers on the side. That's kind of cool. I did see some tabs. I was looking on Etsy and I did see some tabs that were for, uh, okay, I'd like to open up to this page. So let's go back to June, put this here. Um, I did see some tabs on Etsy that were just the numbers. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't think I want to necessarily repeat you know what? I, I do want, I think that looks a little low. Uh, let's see how that looks here. That looks a little low. We'll leave it. Looks good. Um, I did see tabs that you would put, I suppose, right along the numbers. Um, but I don't know if I want to do that. I do like the tabs on the top. These are little blue striped tabs that I got from Sunshine Sticker Co., one of my favorite sticker shops. Here's August. We're going to flip back so that when we pull the tab or when we open it from the tab, we open it onto that month. The spacing is good. Let's just make sure it is not going to drift at an angle. Kind of looks like it. A little tiny bit oh no Ugh, the paper is tearing come on darn it oh that's terrible okay uh where was I oh like I said this is pretty early for me to set up anything um, but because I'm on break from school I figured I would use this time okay those look super close together Oh, but when I close the book all the way, they're not. Okay, that's fine. Let's close this one. So what I'm interested in getting next is, let's see, let's put a couple more down and then I can show you. I'm interested in covering up uh, the months at the beginning. Oh, is that going to be too big of a space? Maybe not. I really like this uh, pencil board and using the tabs to line things up. And I seriously, I love, you know what I think it is? It's this tab tape. I got the tab tape from Lauren Phelps too. This is square. And so folding it over, it is perforated. So it will come off like June will come off. But then folding it over is another story because you have to line it up. You have to take like so much more care in attempting to line it up. Okay, there's September. Let's get October. Oh my gosh, I totally just messed that up. Oh no. Oh, please come off. Please, 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 please. Okay. I think I might just try that because I don't know if the sticker will come apart from itself. Oh, no. Oh, dang it. I tore it. I don't have any of that like undo stuff that I've seen other 
bullet journalers use. Oh, okay. It's totally tearing. Dang it. I don't know how to fix this. Oh, it's tearing the paper. Oh my gosh. Darn it, it tore like a whole chunk of the paper off. Okay, let me set that. I'm gonna put that back over on the sticker paper and let's do, no, I'm gonna have to fix this. Okay, if it takes too long, I'm going to just, um, I'll be right back. Okay, I peeled off the little, you can see, I think you can see it. Let me show you. See how it kind of tore the paper right there? It's okay, we're gonna move on. We are going to go to September. And I want this to open up onto here, so we're gonna put it here. I do need to use the pencil board again. It does come back apart, thank goodness. I think it was about right there, okay. All right, September, September, stop giving me so much trouble. Looks a little low. I've torn this so many times, I'm going to leave it alone. And fold it down and move on to October and course correct because, oh my goodness, that is crazy. All right, let's go to October. October is here. So yeah, I did see other tabs. Um, oh, but what I want to do is cover up the index that's at the front. Let me see how that lines up. Okay, that's definitely a good correction. Um, let me finish these up and go from there. Okay, let's turn the page. Oh my goodness, no more mistakes like that. Look at that Halloween in 2022 is on a Monday, which makes sense since this year it's on a Sunday. Looking good. I have lots of plans during the holiday time period. So I suppose setting this up now is going to be really good for me because I'm not going to have to like worry about it. I have a lot of places I want to go, Christmas markets, all the Christmas markets so far we're planning on going on Saturdays, which I'm sure is just going to be so crazy, like packed and busy. But we signed up for that and that is that. So there you go. September, a hot mess. My goodness. Again, Sunshine Sticker Co. for the tabs blue stripes I like it let me grab my cover and my cover on cover somebody mentioned I could snug that back up in there it is tighter actually you can see that the tabs are in there pretty well let's put this back in the cover and take a look at how it's going to look Okay. Yes. Look. Okay. Even with just the cover on, you can see that the tabs are covered. So they are not going to be squished and messed up the way that my bullet journal ones are because I just throw this in my purse and take it with me and I take it everywhere. Look how nice and fat and chunky that is. I am up to here and I think I have, oh, that's from that previous video when I was showing you my tabs that I ordered from Jet Pens. Um, but I think I only have 10 pages left at the back. Pretty good use of the bullet journal so far. We'll be going through that in another video, but I am really happy with this. Let me get these in here. Where's the pen lid? Oh, here it is. And close this guy up just to show you what it looks like. And there we go. Yeah. Perfect journal, perfect journal size. It's considering, oh, okay, I did not think about that. Considering this is how 
the Hobonichi closes, I will not be getting tabs for the side. It is far away. It's far enough away. Can you see that? It's far enough away that they likely won't get hit. Um, but I like that they'll be, the top tabs will be like clean and like not bent and squished. It's kind of annoying that my bullet journal ones got bent and squished. So this is possibly, oh no, this is not all that I'm going to do. Okay, I think I was trying to decide if I wanted to get stickers to cover these up. I kind of like the clean pages though, like now that I'm looking at it. And I may or may not get something for the yearly index. This is a pretty small book. This is just the A6. And so since it's so small, I might just keep it, um, keep it clean, keep it not decorated. I'll probably use markers and stuff like that in here. Um, I'm also thinking about how to use these little squares. I do have a couple of different small printers, like those little tiny, you know, they print like the three by four size photos. So I'm thinking of using that and putting like, you know, sticking like a memory down. That is such a small square. I don't know. We'll see. It's like an inch, I think. Uh, so we'll see what I end up doing with that. But maybe kind of mini vision board turning the page to a new year, possibly mini, mini, mini vision board on these two pages. And then maybe I'll leave this one blank and then I'll just get right into journaling. I love this setup. I'm so, like I said before, I wish I could get started right now. Super happy with this. Let me stick the uh, pencil board back in there. Yes, I love it. I hope you love it too. Check the description for some links. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any more videos from me. Have a great day.